Hi, my name is Josh Carter. And I'm Jessica Dupont, and here's your Casco News. Wow, it's cold. I know, but it'll be warming up to the 50s next week. This is crazy weather. <laughs> Vote on February 12th. The Casco School District has done the research, met with the community stakeholders, and developed a capital project improvement plan. The vote on February 12th is for necessary repairs and improvements to our facilities. Repairing leaky roofs, replace broken sidewalks, address unsafe classrooms, improve fields and facilities, and take advantage of the 70% funding from New York State. Vote on February 12th. It's an investment in our children and our community. The Taylor Block fundraising basketball games versus Caro have been rescheduled to this Monday. The girls and boys varsity teams will play, and all proceeds will benefit Taylor. The games will be live streamed by Mr. Hernandez and our broadcasting crew. We will be there helping the show. Our school district has put together a capital project to repair our school and improve our programs. There is an important informational brochure and more information provided on our website, as well as an informational video we produced airing on Mid Hudson Cable and YouTube. Here is the informational video. Hi, my name is Lexi Davies and I'm a senior at the Catskill High School. The Catskill Central School District has an opportunity to receive a 70% funded project from the state. This funding is offered when a school has demonstrated a need to repair, replace, or make their school safe. So the project that we have to do costs $40 million, but the government from us, which was 70%, which brought it down to $12 million. So we already have $4 million of that. and. Breaking it all down, it would only cost $8 million. So if you really think about it, that's a big deal because we don't have to pay as much as we had to. My name is Cheyenne Teeter and I'm in seventh grade. We have a bad gym in the middle school and renovating the gym will make sports better for us. And when we renovate the school, our, more people want to join and it'll improve our community and taxpayers. Catskill voters have been so supportive of our school district with providing the best place to learn. We love our school and our community. Let's identify some of the highlights of the capital project. In our elementary school, we have leaky roofs, sidewalks, and lots are sinking in from the water damage. Today we have to have covers on our equipment because it's raining inside. A large portion of our capital project is to fix and repair our leaky roofs. Improvements here are really a necessity. Our district and the team of advisors also looked at adding a road around the soccer field to add more space to park and a safer way to drop off our children. The capital project is going to improve driveway and parking and make it safer for kid drop off. We have to watch our steps on the sidewalks because we'll trip over the cracks in them. The capital project is going to fix the broken sidewalks. Have you seen our high school science rooms? It's like going back in time. Gas lines and safety eyewash stations are antiquated and need to be upgraded to current safety standards. There isn't even emergency safety shutoff valves for the natural gas lines. Hi, I'm Lexi and I'm here with Anna Bulich and we're actually in one of the Casco High School science rooms. And Anna, tell us a little about the science room. Okay, so in our science rooms, um, they're very old. The materials are not up to date with what students need to excel in science programs. Everything from the desks to the gas lines are old. Right, one day the levers from the emergency um, washing stations got drained and completely flooded the room. Uh, so what you're saying is that instead of you know uh, draining outside, it actually drains right onto the floor. Yeah, um, as you can tell in the science rooms, there's no drainage system underneath the showers. That's terrible. As an athlete, I've experienced some of the limitations of our fields and facilities. This season, we had to cancel home games because the fields were unsafe. And forget winter sports practice schedules, they are crazy going past 9 p.m. for daily practices. Hi, I'm Lexi, and I'm here with Josh and Jenna, and I wanted to know how the fields were this year. 
Uh, the fields are horrible. Uh, we had to cancel games, practices, the girls' practices ran late. And it's just, it's embarrassing when teams come here and they complain about how horrible our fields are. It's the worst in the Patroon. Yeah, exactly. We had multiple practices that had to go later than usual because of the holes in the field and we had to practice on certain areas. There were injuries that could have been avoided. It's a safety issue. It was just overall a mess. Well, this project addresses both with the addition of a new middle school gymnasium and adding turf to the soccer field. Hudson and Taconic have installed them and have had great results. It's such a joy to play at their fields. How nice if we could have the same. So what are we doing with the old middle school gym? Well, that is going to be amazing. They are making it a multifunctional two-story technology room with an aquaponics pool, wood, and metal shop. The middle school is a historic building that is rotting. I'm here with my brother Logan. One thing we realized is that these pillars are getting old and that if we don't fix them, they will not be here for much longer. Our school, from a different view from the road or wherever you're coming from, is a beautiful school. Like, everybody looks from a distance, but nobody looks up close. So one example here is the cracked windows. So we need to start looking at these things for the kids in the future that are, you know, moving up and want. And most of the windows are like this. I mean, this is not just the only window that looks like this. This is not the only problem we have. The roof is leaking and parts are missing. My name is Maya Hernandez and I'm a student at Catskill Middle School. Today it's raining outside, but it's literally raining inside too. The ceilings here are actually falling in from the rain. As you can see, our offices are actually falling in. Yes, with the, uh, with the rain, it's been leaking quite a bit today. We're in the Catskill High School Library, and we clearly need to fix the ceiling. Thankfully, students were not in the cafeteria today when the ceiling collapsed. All over our school, there are many water leaks. The damage that this is causing is incredible. With your support of the Capital Project, we can fix this and improve safety for our students. There are so many more items on this Capital Project, including replacing the high energy heat and AC units in each classroom with the central system. This will save taxpayers on energy costs moving forward. It's time to take advantage of the state funding 70% of our Capital Project and make the necessary repairs to our school. If you'd like to look at the full overview of the project, check out our district website. Thanks for listening. I'm Lexi Davies, and the vote for the Capital Improvement will be held on Tuesday, February 12th. Wow, we will finally have updated science rooms, safe entryways, and we will fix the infrastructure that is badly in need. This is exciting. The vote for the capital project will be Tuesday, February 12th in the CMS Gymnasium from 1 to 9 p.m. Senior Science Day photograph makeup photos will be taken by Mr. Hernandez this Monday the 4th. See Ms. Maggio for a pass to come get your picture taken. Our summer youth employment applications are out early. If you have any students who are interested, send them to guidance to set up the interview. The students meet with the CGCC and go through an interview process. It's a great experience. See guidance with any questions. Here's Lexi with the weather. Yo, what's up? It's your weather girl, Lexi. Today is Friday and it is supposed to be partly cloudy. There will be a high of 20 and a low of zero. Monday will also be partly cloudy. Then we got Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesday will be cloudy, and Wednesday and Thursday will be rain. The lowest of this week is zero and the highest will be about 58. So it's still cold. Don't be bold and don't wear a jacket. Stay warm, kids. <laughs> See you next week. Thanks, Lexi. FCCLA and the Spanish Department are collaborating on February 12th at 6.30 for a family dinner with games, trivia, and prizes. Learn and celebrate the importance of eating together. Feel free to bring a family dish to share. A meal will be provided. Here's Zach with sports.
Happy Friday, everyone. It's Zach, and I'm back with your weekly Cat Sports Report. On Monday, the varsity basketball girls and boys team hosts Carroll for the Taylor Block benefit. All the proceeds from the games will be donated to Taylor. The event will be live streamed by our news team. It's going to be a great event. Hope to see you all there. Let's sell out the place. Tuesday, bowling travels to Kasaki, girls basketball travels to Albany, and boys volleyball hosts Carroll. Wednesday, girls JV and boys and girls varsity basketball host Hunters Tannersville. Thursday, modified basketball hosts Carroll, and boys volleyball travels to Germantown. Friday, boys basketball and boys volleyball travel to Taconic Hills, and girls basketball hosts to Taconic Hills. And next Friday, our bowling team will start off our sectional run. We're, we're ready and hope to keep moving forward. Let's show them what we can do, Cats. This has been Zach with your weekly Cats Report. Now back to the desk. Have a happy Friday and stay safe. Thanks, Zach. What does a teddy bear say when it's eating a big meal? What does he say? I'm stuffed. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Go. Hope to see you all at the Taylor Block Benefit Basketball Games this Monday night, starting at 4.30 p.m. Thanks for watching. Cats, Cats can, can and Cats, cats will. will. <laughs>